gonna show you guys a major key right now. As you know, I am doing a little mini cut right now, I'm trying to shed a couple pounds. Nothing too crazy, nothing too intense, but I'm gonna share a little secret on how to make some perfect protein pancakes. The macros are crazy and they actually taste pretty good. Obviously, it's not gonna taste like IHOP pancakes, but it's good enough. It's gonna save you a ton of macros. Protein cabinet, get in a little, little pack. Kind of goes all the way around with everything, but I am gonna use the cake pop protein for this recipe. I feel like this is like the most neutral flavor next to vanilla, but I do not have vanilla. And this kind of has more of a sweeter taste than vanilla. So I'm gonna use this. Then we need a little bit of baking powder, a little bit of egg whites, and then pretty much the last ingredient is gonna be three tablespoons of water. I'm actually I'm gonna make double what I usually would do for one batch of these pancakes. So before I start making these, I'm just gonna throw up on the screen the exact recipe. One scoop of any PE science select protein, a half a teaspoon of baking powder, and then 20 grams of egg whites. For right now, I'm just gonna make two orders of these, so I'm just gonna be doubling everything here. consistency of these is like really hit or miss. Today I low-key dropped like half the water and egg whites in the sink so I kind of started eyeballing it. So I think the consistency of these might be a little off but they still look like pretty good pancakes though. That looks like a regular pancake. Pretty sure the recipe makes like one big pancake off the regular batch but if you double it you can get like two to three out of it. Eat these like half of the day and then for the rest of the day I kind of get to eat whatever I want with all the macros that I have left over. So definitely definitely try these out if you got some pea-sized protein laying around. For like the longest time now, I've been saying the Navy RKTs are coming and then I put it off because of more sampling with the do with the new logo that I showed you guys like a couple videos ago. And then I finally started ordering them in after I decided on the logo that I wanted. And then it got held up at customs, which pushed back the release date. But to say all of the shirts are now finally in my possession. And right now I'm picking up Raiden. We're about to go shoot some product photos for him. I already got the website stuff going and I think, I think we should be launching these Saturday and I think I'm gonna do like a noon launch this time last time I did a midnight launch and I feel like everybody will be up at the same time if I do it at noon gives everybody like a fair chance and yeah I don't know I just feel like it's a better time to launch things so I'm gonna start doing it at noon Pacific time so that'll be the next launch kosherapl.com the YouTube fam discount code will work on this launch and yeah be on the site at noon Pacific time to make sure you get one. So yeah, about to go shoot these product photos right now. Kelowna went from summer to fall really, really fast. I feel like last week it was like 20, 30 degrees and now it is. My car saying 11 degrees, but my iPhone saying like eight. So it's cold as hell outside right now. It feels like fall and we're about to go shoot t-shirt pictures. So gotta pretend like it's hot outside for the shoot. It's cold out here. I'm trying to get some photos right now. Got Braden with me. I don't know how many times I showed you this, but He's rocking it, old school Vans. My boy's got the fit on. Tried to make a little 30 minute shoot happen. You guys will see the photos that are gonna go up later on in the week. Appreciate Let's you. Go. Always. Yeah, I'm gonna try and get this launched, like everything finished. Hopefully everything's lining up as far as like Instagram ads, stories and stuff like that so that I can launch these. If I don't launch it Saturday, it's all on me. That's just me being lazy or busy. <laughs> but more like lazy. So I'm definitely gonna try to get this going. I'll put it all on an Instagram story. If you're not following Kosher, you're lost. You're lost in the sauce. You gotta go follow the page. Doing? Yeah, you'll, you'll, you'll have all the updates there. So I'll, I'll make sure you guys are all up to date on that page. We are about to do something that I actually never do. Come into the gym at like nine o'clock, about to get this workout in. And that is because special occasion I'm vlogging today and I feel like I never vlog, but when I do vlog, I gotta come in here at night because I don't have a videographer and I gotta set up the camera. You can't do that at peak times in the gym so we're about to get it in right now we are finally about to start a new program for the next couple weeks from now on i'm going to be running jeff's upper lower program um i'll link the link in the description if you guys want to go check that out too but i'm going to be running through that i think it's a 12-week program first day running it i'm gonna to have to check but i'm pretty sure it's a 12-week program and uh yeah we're going to be doing that for the next 12 weeks and then Maybe I'll switch up to another program after that or I might go back to the program I was previously running that I created for myself. So, I mean, that's kind of getting ahead of myself. We got to get through these 12 weeks and I'm excited because that means progression. So I'm going to try to set up everything, run you guys through this program. The only hard part about this is trying to get a thumbnail by myself, but obviously you've probably seen it by clicking this video, but we'll see what I come up with. So I was mistaken. The program is actually a nine week program. And today we actually started out with the lower portion of the programs. It's going to be a six day split program 
Instagram, alternating between lower and upper all six days. It'll be interesting hitting everything more than twice a week since I've been doing push pull legs for like the last two months. Started out today with some back squats. We had a three by four with 75%. Since it was the first day, I don't think all my weights were as accurate as they should have been. Knocked out some easy warm up sets on this and then I jumped right into the working sets. My first two working sets were with 225. I was feeling like that was more like 60%, so I bumped it up another 10 pounds and that probably was somewhere still below 75%. So I really need to do a max test on all big three compound movements since I'll be doing percentage work with all of those exercises. But yeah, finished out the last set of this for an easy four with 235. The next thing we moved on to here was something kind of interesting. Three sets of 10 reps of a stiff leg deadlift, but it is a variation where you do a four second lowering phase, keeping your hips high. So making sure I was lowering at the four second rate, definitely felt the hamstring burn on there. Next thing we moved on to was a constant tension leg press and and here my weight was just extremely extremely low we had two sets for 20 reps but it's constant tension so you're not supposed to stop between any of the reps so i was thinking i needed my weight to be super light just kind of testing it out it was supposed to be at an rp8 uh, i had one plate on each side that was way too easy throw on a 25 and i think that was way too easy too so the next time i do this i'll definitely try to aim for two plates and maybe a 25 that should be right around that rpe8 for 20 reps constant tension then we got in some hamstring curls here nothing special here three by eight rpe seven trying to limit the swing with my upper body really just trying to keep everything still and then we finished off with an interesting variation of calf raises so it's a four by 12 but the first six reps you use a three second lowering phase and then right after those six reps you go into six constant reps and this was actually super hard had to lower the weight on this but definitely a nice variation to the regular calf raises that i've been doing over the last couple of weeks pretty simple i think this is a little less volume than i'm usually used to on my leg day but like i said i usually do legs two times a week and with this split we'll be doing legs three times a week so obviously you got to split up the volume a little more which is actually dope because i think my workouts will now be a little shorter on each day so we just finished up that workout honestly i'm super tired not gonna lie to you guys it is about 11 30 i'm pretty sure right now 11 30 11 45 need to get out of here find some food i'm gonna catch you guys in the next video if you're new join the crew subscribe to the channel leave this video a like before you leave and i'm gonna catch you guys in the next video I'm personal